classic one-point perspective. There is no other. This is the voice, this is the voice, this is the voice of Radio Free Neruda. سوف نقوم بهجوم مطلق على جميع الجبهات برا وجوا هجوم رايد هجوم مضاد من رايد على لواء الحشرات الزاحفة إنه يهاجم الحشرات الطائرة طائرة زاحفة طائرة زاحفة طائرة تركيبته فتاكة لجميع الحشرات رايد أقوى مبيد للحشرات الطائرة والزاحفة الله أكبر الله أكبر عائلات بأكملها أطفال ونساء في الغوطة الشرقية نتيجة القصف في المواد الكيماوية وهم نيام ما ذنب هذه الأطفال والنساء الله أكبر الله يا الله أنا غيرك يا الله إن أنتم أيها الإسلام أيها العرب أيها المتخازلون انظروا يا العالم انظروا شهداء بالمئات الله اكبر الله اكبر عليك يا بشار الله اكبر عليك اصبر الله ونعم الوكيل يا رب اللهم انا غيرك يا رب يا الله الله اكبر عليك يا بشار اطفال ونساء where be these enemies? Capulet, Montague, see what a scourge is laid upon your hate that heaven finds means to kill your. Joys with love, and I, for winking at your discords, too have lost a brace of kinsmen. All are punished. All are punished. I never apologize uh, for depleted uranium. We apologize for nothing. And as long as we have sociopathic personalities in Congress, which are most, and the White House, which are all, then I don't believe we'll ever get an apology and we'll ever make the right choice. Your final thought. The John Kerry and gang are making up details, either because they think it sounds better or because they know the story's false. Uh, either way, they are clearly making stuff up. Uh, Kerry said to the Senate uh, yesterday and is presumably saying to the House committee as we speak, uh, trust me, believe me, because it's me, it's not those other guys. Uh, but this is the same John Kerry who voted for the authorization on Iraq and then, while running for president, was asked if you had known it was all a pile of lies, would you have still voted for it and said yes? So this is, this is the John Kerry who's asking to be taken seriously. Strike that stool and show what shit. Breakfast, a bowl of Kerrios. Kerrios. Pelletized feed, fit for family and friends. Gone to fat and fiber-free, Kerrios delivers calories empty as rhetoric. All American and genetically modified to resist defoliant. Just like Kerry. Eat Kerrios. <laughs> Is she Allah? Allah Akbar? Why so serious? Let's put a smile on that face. And 
Why so serious? It's a gas? Abdul's running amok. Who does he think he is? Jesus Christ. Was? He lives here. Damn it, Abdul! It's Nicholson or nothing! Here's Johnny. President, President Obama is now making his way to the podium in the Rose Garden. He's accompanied by Vice President Biden. President Obama. Attack you brought the deer. Yesterday, the United States presented a powerful case that the Syrian government was responsible for this attack on its own people. Our intelligence shows the Assad regime and its forces preparing to use chemical weapons, launching rockets in the highly populated suburbs of Damascus, and acknowledging that a chemical weapons attack took place. And all of this corroborates what the world can plainly see. Hospitals overflowing with victims, terrible images of the dead. All told, well over 1,000 people were murdered. Several hundred of them were children. Young girls and boys gassed to death by their own government. And this attack is an assault on human dignity. It also presents a serious danger to our national security. The acts of being shared. Of the global prohibition on the use of chemical weapons. It endangers our serious borders, including Israel, Jordan, Turkey, Lebanon, and Iraq. It could lead to escalating use of chemical weapons or their proliferation to terrorist groups who would do our people harm. In a world with many dangers, this menace must be confronted. After careful deliberation, I have decided that the United States should take military action against Syrian regime targets. This would not be an open-ended intervention. We would not put boots on the ground. Instead, our action would be designed to be limited in duration and scope. But I'm confident we can hold the Assad regime accountable for their use of chemical weapons Show us the Congressional Declaration. The capacity to carry it out. Our military has positioned assets in the region. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs has informed me that we are prepared to strike whenever we choose. As soon the chairman has indicated Congress to me that our capacity to execute this mission is not time sensitive. It will be effective tomorrow, or next week, or one month from now. Or shall we have to whip the house for war criminal? Having made my decision as Commander-in-Chief based on what I am convinced is our national security interests, I'm also mindful that I'm the President of the world's oldest constitutional democracy. Switzerland? I believe that our power is rooted not just in our military might, but in our example as a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Damn. And that's why I made a second decision. They make I some dark I chocolate. authorization for the use of force from the American people's representatives in Congress. For the last several days, we've heard from members of Congress who want their voices to Flat be heard. I absolutely folk. agree. So this morning, I spoke with all four congressional leaders, and they've agreed to schedule be a sure debate for many of the members of Congress in the session. In the coming days, my administration stands ready to prepare every member with the information they need to understand what happened in Syria and why it has such profound implications for America's national security. And all of us should be accountable as we move forward, and that can only be accomplished with a vote. I'm confident in the case our government has made. Said it before, we'll say it again. The doctor asked for attribution and cortisone. Of a United Nations Security Council, the House has been completely paralyzed struck. and unwilling to hold Assad accountable. As a consequence, God many people have advised against taking brilliant. this decision to Congress, and undoubtedly they were impacted by what we saw happen in the United Kingdom this week when the Parliament of our closest ally failed to pass a resolution with a similar goal, even as the Prime Minister supported taking action. 
Yet while I believe I have the authority to carry out this military action without specific congressional authorization. The, the country is will be stronger, is that your argument? and our actions will be even more effective. non culpa non accomplishments Because the issues are too big for business as usual. And this morning, Mistake of fact, is that your defense? And Mitch McConnell agreed that this is the right thing Judge, he'd be an honest nigga, he's, he's just confused. The country faces few decisions as grave as using military force, even when that force is limited. I respect the views of those who call for caution, particularly as our country emerges from a time of war that I was honest like enough. To but if we really do want to turn away from taking a Texas is a state of confusion. such an unspeakable outrage, then we must acknowledge the costs of doing nothing. Here's my question for every member of Congress and every member of the global community. What message will we send if a dictator can gas hundreds of children to death in plain sight and pay no price? What's the purpose of the international system that we built if a prohibition on the use of chemical weapons that has been agreed to by the governments of 98% of the world's people and approved overwhelmingly by the Congress of the United States is not enforced. Make no mistake, this has implications. What's the, the use of a limited strike when the doctor asks for atropine and cortisone? What does it say about our resolve to stand up to others who've plowed oh, by the way, you can take your oxygen tank and shove it up your ass, to house to build nuclear arms. To terrorists who would spread biological weapons. To want it for to war crime. Carry out genocide. Many escapes. We cannot season. raise our children in a world None where we will not fall through on the things we say. The accords we sign. The values that define us. So just as I will take this case to Congress, I will also deliver this message to the world. While the UN investigation has some time to report on its findings, we will insist that an atrocity committed with chemical weapons is not simply investigated, it must be confronted. I don't expect every nation to agree with the decision we have made. Privately, we've heard many expressions of support from our friends, but I will ask those who care about the writ of the international community to stand publicly behind our action. And finally, let me say this to the American people. I know well that we are weary of war. We've ended one war in Iraq. We're ending another in Afghanistan. And the American people have the good sense to know we cannot resolve the underlying conflict in Syria with our military. In that part of the world, there are ancient sectarian differences. The hopes of the Arab Spring have unleashed forces of change that are going to take many years to resolve. That's why we're not contemplating putting our troops in the middle of someone else's war. Instead, we'll continue to support the Syrian people through our pressure on the Assad regime, our commitment to the opposition, our care for the displaced, and our pursuit of a political resolution that achieves a government... How about the atropine and cortisone? But we are the United States of America. And we cannot and must not turn a blind eye to what happened in Damascus. Out of the ashes of World War, we built an international order and enforced the rules that gave it meaning. And we did so because we believe that the rights of individuals to live in peace and dignity depends on the responsibilities of nations. We are perfect, but this nation, more than any other, has been willing to meet those responsibilities. Wow. So members of Congress, you mean to tell me that was macaroni, Israelis, Pomo, Palestine? I'm looking forward to the debate. In doing so, I ask you, members of Congress, to consider that some things... Oh, it, it cooked the itself the on the way down now. with the thoughts. Ultimately, this is not about who occupies this office at any given time. It's about who we are as a country. I believe that the people's representatives must be invested what America does abroad. And now's the time to show the world that... By America the way, if Jew boy murders a brown, brown skin American, the that right one of them, makes might. Not the other way there are not on the high seas. What hope you, darky? Elected to avoid our decisions. 
and neither were the members of the House and the Senate. They'll declare your black butt going. That our security and our values demand that we cannot turn away from the massacre of countless civilians with chemical weapons. And our democracy is stronger when the President and the People's Representatives stand together. I'm ready to act in the face of this outrage. Well, what, what the what hell is Freeport Sulphur going to do with all this brimstone? We're ready to move forward together as one nation. Thanks very much. How are they in the Rose Garden? Senator Obama just concluded his remarks in the Rose Garden of the White House. There were a couple questions uh, shouted out. The president didn't take them. You're listening to special coverage. President Obama's speech on Syria from NPR News. To tempt such dainties be but pearls for swine. Slim Jim and Ho Ho, what cracker dine? No aperitif, cold and gold and dry. Cracker finishes moon pie with. Knee high. Proceeding was brought to you by the makers at Golemetic. Bright lies for dark truths. What do you mean we can't say? <laughs> <laughs>